Vital clues about climate change and evolution are being uncovered at a mass fossil grave in central Australia. Scientists are digging up the bones and thousands of extinct animals buried for up to seven million years. Stroke by careful stroke, the search for answers can't be rushed. Using paintbrushes and dental picks, excavators from the Northern Territory Museum and Flinders University are slowly unearthing important pieces of our past. There's one tooth here, the rest of the teeth are broken. One tooth here, one tooth here. A large crocodile skull, one of the prized finds on this latest dig at Alcoota, home to Australia's oldest megafauna fossils, 200 kilometres northeast of Alice Springs. This is a toe bone from a huge flightless bird that once stood three metres tall and roamed the Australian landscape. And here's another ancient skull belonging to a large wombat-like marsupial. This entire area all around here is just absolutely chockers full of bones. The site is a paleontologist's dream and one of the earliest pieces of evidence showing the effects of drought. The animals died here millions of years ago around a drying waterhole. It's believed a flood then washed their bones into a mass jumbled grave. Digging them out is a test of patience. It's a bit like pick-up sticks. You have to be able to extract, work out where things are and extract each one so you're not damaging any other one. What makes the work even more painstaking is that the bones are so fragile. They've been buried in clay-like soil for up to seven million years, each bone suffering hundreds of tiny fractures. Scientists will use the remains to better understand animal evolution and environmental change. And paleontologists know they'll be digging for clues in this fossil treasure chest for years to come. There's a lot of, a lot of work still to be done here. In central Australia, Gemma Chapman, 10 News.